So you may remember from my last video, I recently purchased an early 2011 MacBook Pro unibody 15 inch. Now I really, really like this computer and I use it a lot. It's a really, really fantastic computer, but the early 2011 MacBook Pros do have um, a pretty significant graphics card issue. So basically what happens is a lot of people think that it's the way the graphics chip is soldered onto the motherboard and the soldering balls get all messed up and they melt or something. That's not actually how it works. I don't want to get too into it, but basically the actual GPU die, the actual chip itself, um, kind of gets warped from the constant changing in temperature from idle to full load. Um, and these do run really, really hot. So this particular computer does not currently have any signs of the GPU um, failure. It might even have a replaced logic board. When I opened it up, it looked really, really clean in there. But basically what I want to do is try to control the temperatures so that I don't risk uh, GPU failure and I can get as much life out of this computer as possible. Now, there are two ways I could go about doing this. The first one is to increase ventilation in the computer. So. I could drill holes in the bottom case basically, but I really don't want to do that because I want to maintain the resale value of this computer and getting out a saw and drilling holes in the bottom case is probably not going to maintain that. So the second option and the one that I'm going to be going with is the thermal paste. Now Apple uses some pretty bad thermal paste in these MacBook Pros. Not to mention that this computer is also six years old, so it's probably not the freshest and most vibrant, vivacious thermal paste out there. So what we're gonna do, and this is granted a bit of an ordeal, but I hope that it'll be able to extend the lifetime of my computer and also possibly increase performance and decrease the, um, the noise level from fans, which hopefully won't have to spin as much. So I'm not gonna bore you with a whole, like, taking apart the computer montage. But what I will do is give you a before and after in Cinebench. So I'm going to show you the test running so you can hear how loud the fans are. And then I'm going to show you what the score was before and after. So that'll give us some idea of how the thermal paste helps with the noise and performance of the computer. Without further ado, let's get to the testing. 